So this video is a special PC build for Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is coming out January 28th. So I'm going off of the minimum system requirements listed on their website, which you can see now on the screen, and also listed on Steam's pre-purchase website for it. Uh, it's going for Windows 7 64-bit, which is kind of obvious you're going to need that. Intel Core i3 2100, which you really can't buy now unless you buy it used or buy it new for an extreme amount of money, or an equivalent AMD, which you could probably still get for brand new, cheap. Um, memory, 6 gigs. GPU, GTX 650, 2 gig, or an AMD HD 7770, 2 gig. Um, DirectX 11, storage, 25 gigs. So, if you were to buy the components to run the minimum requirements for the game, how much would it cost? Well, that's what I did. I put together a simple build of what it would take to either run an Intel CPU based build or an AMD CPU based build. For the Intel build, you can see on the screen now a chart which lists everything out. It's pretty much everything that you can get is close to the minimum specs and as cheap as possible with a minimum rating of 4 out of 5. So no, you know, one star or one egg or whatever you want to call it. And on the screen now is the AMD build. As you can see, the totals are pretty much the same, plus or minus around $20. Uh, either build would get you through the minimum requirements using what's available today, brand new, as cheap as possible, while still maintaining some level of quality. With these builds, you're going to be able to run the game with low to low medium settings, 30 FPS probably, and unlikely going to get 1080p resolution out of this. Square Enix has not released any sort of recommended PC requirements for the build. Therefore, if I were to release a recommended PC requirements build, it would be based off of my own opinion and news articles that I've read from graphics vendors and the such on what you should use for your own build. It would be more expensive than these, obviously, because you're going to be looking for 1080p minimum, 60 FPS, smooth gameplay, which is a little bit more important than 60 FPS, and probably as best as I could do a cost to performance ratio so you wouldn't be aiming for a Titan X per se but maybe like a GTX 970 or a 980 Ti. If you want to see that sort of video from me and it's all just kind of opinion I'm happy to make it. If not I can wait and we'll see what Square Enix releases and I could just make a video off of their requirements. Thanks for watching.